Hello everyone, welcome back to Cross Slash Gamer TV here with another video and I wanted to start by saying a very amazing big thank you to all the new subscribers. Um, something more like 30 plus subscribers have come through to my channel and it's kind of like, I know it's not a lot, but for me it's just nice to see that even if one of you is interested in whatever I have to say or is like-minded in some way, shape or form, it's brilliant to have these conversations and these chats in the comments. Um, so thank you so much for clicking on my video and for subscribing. Uh, hopefully there'll be more to come in the near future. Um, because, yeah, the the video game uh, industry just does not stop. It's pretty relentless at the moment. This week I wanted to kind of touch up on something I mentioned in my last video, which was to do with Space Marines 2 and the fact that the CEO left that comment on Asmund Gold's um, video on YouTube. Now, while some of you might have already uh, read it, um, I'm going to repeat it here again because I think it's of great importance. I, I don't think we're kind of grasping the concept of what's happened with this one person going out of his way to comment about his opinion on on today's current video game um so he basically said hey man ceo of saber here i love your videos when we signed the deal to make the uh, to make space marine 2 all i wanted was a throwback game we had a chance to work on something which by its nature was old school i can't even comprehend many of the current games that we play these days they are too complex and too much of an investment. We worked on Halo back in the day and that game could be distilled down to the simplest of shooting loops, but it was entirely addicting. That is what we wanted to recapture. I hope that games like Space Marine 2 and Wukong are a start of the reversion to a time when games were simply about fun and immersion. I spent some time as Chief Operating Officer at Embrace and I saw games there that made me want to cry with their overblown attempts at messaging or imposing morals on gamers. We just want to do some glory kills and get the heart rate up a little. For me, that is what games should be about. Now. There's been, uh, obviously since then, and I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure some of you already saw this, but um, almost like a witch hunt because both Kotaku um, and IGN and a developer named Dell Walker went on X and uh, went to directly to Sabre and uh, they wanted to confirm if the CEO of Sabre actually made that post. Um, and uh, <laughs> the funniest thing is there's different takes about it, but the, the, the silliest one is IGN's Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2 developer Sabre Interactive won't say whether or not a controversial YouTube comment is from its CEO. So, uh, Dell Walker, okay, let's go to Dell Walker. The thing is, is Dell is someone who came out under the limelight for the wrong reasons. So he, at one point, some months back, he put a post up uh, around how his designs kept coming back completely changed and all character and, and sort of style and sex appeal was all being taken away from the characters that he was designing. Uh, so he was basically complaining and everyone was like, well, yeah, there you go. We agree with you. And then he, I think he got a slap in the wrist from someone and just did a 180 and said this is not up for debate and that's the end of the story so it goes to show how much of the heat these guys are getting from internally when they attempt to comment or go against the direct messaging um, uh, on the DEI side it's no surprise we, we spoke about uh, what, what was going on with Dragon Age and the character creation it's just ridiculous it, you know you can't even create a proper woman anymore um and and if anything this all just very homogenized <laughs> it's, it's just strange so to see a guy like del walker come out and voice his opinion about something that is sensical is common sense um only to then do a 180 is a bit disappointing but with the ceo of of saber it was glorious. So what what I'm trying to get at with, in this video is we should be celebrating because I think it's a big win for the logical people in the gaming community uh, and gamers in general because someone from the inside, a CEO of a company whose game is doing very, very well, has come out and expressed his opinion. And he basically said, it made him cry seeing the the attempts of the of the other devs trying to impose morals on gamers it's ridiculous because that's not what gaming's about it's about fun and space marine 2 i still haven't played it but apparently it's just pure unadulterated visceral fun it's just fun 
and that's why it's doing very well. It's selling well. Uh, I, I heard it hit two million in the, in the, in the first week, so it should be a lot more by now. And and I think it should. This sort of uh, outspoken, this sort of commentary should be celebrated because others will follow. Because they see it, it's obvious. They're seeing the success. They're seeing the the success of Space Marines Two. And uh, obviously, he hit a nerve because then IGN came out and said, "Yeah, is this is this you uh, saying it's a controversial?" Which is pretty much clickbait because there's nothing controversial about what he said. He pretty much just said, "Yeah, we um, we, we just wanted to go back to a game to a time where games were fun, and so we made a fun game." You know, it, it looks like a very spiritual successor of um, Gears of War, a little bit, uh, and it, and it just has it just has the fun element, and I think everyone can really see that. Um, so yeah, I think we've dented the armor there. Um, IGN and Dell and all them people, you know, they they, they can't explain oh, why is that comment so controversial. What was so controversial about what he said? I we I just want games to be fun. Um, you know, Dell goes, um, the, the devs can make whatever they want. He says in a post of uh, September seventeenth. Uh, but then he goes on to say something along the lines of, as long as it doesn't hurt anyone, it, it's ridiculous. It's like, so can they or can't they make? whatever they want. It's just nonsensical. These people just completely keep entrapping themselves in these arguments which make no freaking sense. So us the gamers are going, we just want our freaking games. We just want to play a good fun game. I didn't, why just leave us alone? Don't, don't get our facts, go do your work. And then, because uh, the only pe people speaking sense right now is literally the CEO of a company who's released a game which is doing so bloody well. So here we are. In, in, in other news, which I just checked, so it just come up on my feed, Square Enix is no longer a client of Sweet Baby Inc. Is it real? I don't know. Is Square Enix trying to mask its affiliation? I don't know, but I hope the former is true. I hope they have dropped SBI off their, their sort of partners who they work with because SBI is like a cancer to any game. There's been already some things that we weren't happy about, uh, especially in Final Fantasy Remake, which was patched four years after its release with them sort of clothing Tifa a little bit more and putting, you know, hiding her bust away a little bit more. And, and it's like, it's just a fucking game. Just let it, let it go. And, and it really sets a precedence for things that if you got a game that you bought today, it can be edited, it can be changed in, in four or five years just to, who were they trying to please? Who? who? I, I don't understand. No one asked for it. Uh, it's Final Fantasy. We know Tifa's got a big bust, and I get I get the cutscenes and all that that were happening, and specifically because she's a teenager. But stop like editing and censoring the games that are already out to appease who I don't know. No one asked them to do that. Okay, no one asked them to do that. This is clearly just some moron somewhere in the company who's like got the, his ideals ahead of everything else and says no gamers shouldn't be no this is too much for their eyes now let's cover it up you know it's ridiculous we've had other censorship with um, them editing Toriyama's uh, artwork for God rest his soul um, for Dragon Quest 3D or 2D uh, it's just stop touching things stop touching things it's not yours to touch to that sense it's like it's been already created it exists you don't need to go and put your grimy little hands on it leave it but here we are i think that the ceo of saber started something and i think others will follow because they want their games to be played that's what video games are for they want an audience that will play their games because the worst thing you can say which is what these morons are doing if you don't like it, don't play it. It's like it's it's a death sentence. It's a death sentence. Or uh, being connected to SBI, SBI in any way, or any other uh, company who who champions DEI in in video games. It's a death sentence. So we'll find you. We'll see who it is. I'm sure Cabrutus will be the first one to put it on his list. He's already got nearly half a million people on that on on that for following him. So. We'll find you. We'll find you, and and it won't it won't work because we are actively and organically rejecting it. So, do your homework, do a bit of market research, understand your audience again. Let's let's get together again. Let's enjoy a, a comfortable relationship between developer and gamer, and let's get back to playing some really good games, please. That's that's my request for today. If you enjoyed what I've said today, if you enjoyed my opinions, uh, if you agree or disagree. Please leave a comment below. I'm, I'm always happy to discuss. I love, I love having a you know a bit back and forth. So 
please please comment on the video that'd be lovely and uh, like share and subscribe if you can um but definitely subscribe uh, I, I i you guys keep me going it's very motivational to see people joining uh, my channel so yeah love you guys and i'll see you in the next one bye